If you got a Planet Fitness gym membership, go ahead and cancel that. Hey, you ain't gonna need it no more. If you're on the JB Lam Family Dollar account, you ain't gonna need that gym membership. Cause guess what? You're gonna get all the Planet Fitness, all the cardio burn, the workouts inside that trailer. Hey. <laughs> going on guys thank you for watching i'm gonna give you guys my experience on the jb hunt family dollar account and what i think about it and how i feel about it and first off i know that there are many accounts out there with the uh family dollar account it's not just jb hunt i think uh also you got snyder that do it um western express some of the other companies but I really feel like it's the same, no matter what company you with. If you're doing a Family Dollar account, I really feel like it's all the same. I noticed that they love to get a lot of drivers out of trucking school. Either you fresh out of trucking school or you just new in trucking. Uh, because I feel like most drivers are looking at the money that they're dangling over your head instead of looking at the risk that it's taking. A lot of drivers just knowing that, oh, it can pay fifteen hundred dollars or they tell them oh, you can get two thousand dollars depends on um, how many no loads you get done within a week but they're not looking at i'm fresh out of trucking school i can barely even back up and most of these family dollar accounts are blindsided backing so not only if you just fresh out of trucking school you barely know how to back up but you have to be going to these family dollar accounts these family dollars delivering their freight and blindside backing in like it's real out there bro especially if you fresh fresh out of trucking school it's real and if you notice it's always mostly new drivers that get into this instead of drivers who have experience rarely you will see a driver with two three years experience doing something like this it's always the new drivers because they looking at the money instead of the risk just think about this most drivers have never made fifteen hundred dollars a week most people get in trucking, you know, they're coming from a nine to five, barely making it, right? So you got a company telling you like, hey man, we're gonna pay you 15 to $2,000 a week just to take this load here and unload it at this uh, family dollar. You're like, man, heck yeah. Like, that's a lot of money, bro. Like, let's get it. Like, when can I start? Like, you know, but they're not looking at the risk, all the different backing maneuvers that you're gonna have to do. I remember I had a three or four day orientation. Well, it was supposed to be three or four day orientation in Concord, North Carolina. But I remember, I don't know why, but my drug test took like a long time to come back, bro. I was worried. I mean, I don't smoke. I drink, but I didn't smoke. I'm like, what's taking so long for my drug test to come back? And it took me like a whole week to get my drug test back. But uh, the orientation was pretty cool, man. But it was kind of like, you signing up for something you really don't know the risk. It's just like, you just looking at the money that they's telling you in orientation. And you're like, man, that sounds good, bro. We about to be making fifteen to $2,000 a week. Like, let's get it. Like, you know, it was exciting. So I finally finished orientation and everything. I got the clear. Um, so I went out with my trainer. And I think my trainer was like a lease on operator or something like that. Like, he was like in the lease purchase program or whatnot. He was a cool guy, bro. But... You could tell he pretty much was an owner operator. You can tell the difference between somebody who's a company driver and the way they truck look and an owner operator the way they truck look. It look like they just live inside their truck, like pretty much like they stay there, like don't never go home type of thing. But uh I remember what do what do all trainers do, bro? They get the trainee and they work them, they work the shit out of them, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro worked the shit out of me, bro. Like he had me driving. He had me doing all the driving and doing most of all the unloading, bro. Like, like, bro, like, he already making me feel like, mm, I don't know about this, bro. Like, he got me doing too much, bro. So I was, I was just ready to, uh, just get on my own and get my own truck, and so I can start see this for myself and get what I'm saying because, like, I'm with you and you making me do all the work. Like, what's up with that? I ain't cool with that, but I respect it though because, I mean, hey, I never seen any trainer 
do all the work. So if you with your trainer, expect to do more work than him. That's all I'm gonna say. Bruh, no exaggeration, bro. When we first start unloading our first our first truck, bro, our first trailer, bruh, the amount of boxes that's in that trailer, they fill the whole 53 foot trailer all the way into the door, bro. Like time you open the door, bro, boxes come flying out. Like like I'm telling you, bro, they flying out, bro. So we had to get the bosses from the outside, put them on the little roller. We had the rollers we had to put into the store, man. Bro, I'm telling you, it's no joke. And most of the time, you're going to have at least like three stops. And if you tall like me, I'm 6'7". Bro, your back going to be your back gonna be broke, bro. I'm trying to tell you, like, you got to bend down and get it. Boom. That's all you're doing. Boom. Boom. Until you finish the whole trailer, bro. And don't let it be summertime, bro. They give you this little old fan, just a this little baby fan to put it inside the truck. Like, what do that supposed to do, bro? Like, it's crazy, man. Most drivers I've seen come into the JB Hunt Family Dollar account or any type of Family Dollar account, they don't really last too long. Um, I've actually seen the longest driver was about like four or five months. But my trainee, I asked him, how long have you been doing it? He said he was doing it about two two years or so. And it made sense. I mean, you're a trainer, so you pretty much making your trainee do all the work. Um, they do all the driving. Uh, you get paid more. So I could see why a trainer could do it longer than uh, a driver who's just on his own trying to do it. You know what I mean? So, and like I said in the beginning of the video, a lot of drivers get uh, sidetracked of the money, but I don't know where you guys from, but in North Carolina, uh, we have to go to Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, Delaware. So these places, man, it's already like tight. So these places you're going to, you're gonna have to blindside at most most of all the family dollars. Uh, the tightness of that, that little driveway to get back there is crazy, bro. Um, if you're new in the trucking, and you ain't got your backing experience up yet, bro, don't dare. I wouldn't do it. Don't mess your CDL up. It's not worth it, bro, because it's like you're going to be in some tight, tight areas, bro. You're going to have to be backing up and backing up between cars. Don't let you just be sitting in the parking lot uh, waiting on them to open. Then you got cars already coming and blocking you, and then you got to get around the cars. You got a blind side bag. You're going to have to be getting out, looking to see where you at. It's a lot that goes into this. And a lot of times in orientation, these um, these people who's doing the orientation, the head of the orientation, they don't be letting y'all really know that like, hey man, you got a lot of crazy backing maneuvers. They don't tell you that because they don't want to discourage you. They want you to get out there and risk it, bro. Like for real. They'd rather let you risk it. And then guess what they're gonna do? They're gonna fire you, get somebody else in the truck and get them to do the same thing that you was doing. And another thing I didn't like about it, I lived in Durham, North Carolina, and I had to go to Front Royal, Virginia every like Sunday to pick up my load to be in front of the store on Monday. I mean, by Sunday night, so I can deliver Monday morning. So uh, it's supposed to be considered a regional account, but it don't feel like regional. It feel like you're just getting burned out because you gotta think about it. I leave Sunday drive to maybe New York, New Jersey to be there Sunday night. Then I uh, got a load on Monday, take a break on Tuesday, got a load Wednesday, take a break on Thursday, just going back to pick the loads up, and then Friday, then I go home. By the time I get home, bro, I'm burnt out, I'm tired. And a lot of times I didn't even get home early Friday. I got home like Friday evening, so what day do I really get to chill with my family? I don't really get no time off, bro. So my first check, I can honestly say I was excited, bro. That what made me go a little longer than what I did pff, only lasted about like two months. I'm going to be real with you, bro. Like, maybe about almost three months, but I know two something. But my first check was like 15, no, like 1600. I was like, bro, I never seen that type of money in a week. So I was like, man. Like the money was good, but the amount of labor you got to put in to get that bread, bro, it's like, it ain't worth it, bro. And the amount of risk, especially coming straight out of truck school. So yeah. My thoughts on the family dollar account. I say to each is on. 
Hey, some of you guys may like it, but I feel like a lot of you guys won't. Uh, I feel like it's a setup for the new drivers. It's a setup for them to keep this thing going. Just keep it going because they know that a lot of new drivers who come in the game never seen this type of money. Uh, and the risk that they, they don't really see the risk. They just see the money. So, uh, but the risk that's in it, bro, I feel like it's not worth it. I feel like a lot of people lose their CDL due to uh, accounts like this because they just fresh and trucking. They new and trucking. They don't know too much about how to back up. Some people, most people can't even back up a regular backing up. And you talking about blindside backing and maneuvering around cars, tight areas. You're going to have to know how to do all of this to be successful in this family dollar account. And um, workout. If you ain't in the best shape, you will get in the best shape. I promise you that. Um, if you want to do it for a workout, hey, that's fine. Because you're going to get all that workout you need inside that trailer. You ain't going to need no gym membership or none of that. But, um, yeah, man, that's my thoughts on it. Um, I feel like it's the reason why you don't see a lot of uh, people who've been in the game, like, three or four years in the game doing it because they know, like, uh, the risk. It ain't even worth it. A lot of these guys won't dare. Wouldn't dare. Uh, hop on a family dollar account um but for the new drivers man this is not a video to discourage you man i want to um i just want to keep it real and give you guys my experience on that and um let you guys see before you hop into it because my little brother was thinking about getting into it too but after i, I let him know what it was and um he thought about it and he he kind of like decided not to but um yeah, man, I wish you guys the best of luck. I thank you guys. Whoever got to the end of this video, I thank you guys for continue to watch, bro. Uh, continue to just support me, bro. Uh, show love to my page, man. I'm going to be the best. I'm going to make sure I do the best I can to continue giving you guys information, giving you guys good content, man. I appreciate y'all, bro. I love y'all. Thank y'all for subscribing. If you didn't subscribe, bro, hit that subscribe button for you, boy, man. I need y'all, bro. Um, getting this page up is doing pretty good right now. And I'm excited, bro. I'm just excited to make more videos for you guys, man. Thank you guys for watching. It's your boy, Tay Love. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hey!